something you won't see in the world market because the oil companies, of course, don't want this on the market. It's just a wooden frame. It's got a auto switch on it right here, an automobile switch, which... I'm going to get closer. Okay, turns it off and on. I put a cover over it, a jar, to protect it. Now, it's compressed. The material in this is made of, one rod is made of 73 different elements. The other side is made of 74 elements. There's one additional element, and that's why one is negative and one is positive. The one builds up electrons. The neutrinos that strike the Earth 24 hours a day and other things striking the Earth, the combination of them causes electrons to build up in one of these rods, and it depletes them in the other side, much like a solar panel works, very much like a solar panel. But a solar panel needs light 24 hours a day if you're going to use it 24 hours. Otherwise, it only works when the sun comes out. Now, this here, as you can see, very, very light, very light, mm -hmm. has practically no weight to it. But there's, there's plenty of energy there. Now, I run this up the rod, you can see. Let me get a little closer there, okay. These are Christmas tree lights. 110 volt Christmas tree lights. Let me lights. get a good close up of those lights. Let's see those lights again. Okay. All they are is what? The Just regular Christmas tree lights. So I would hold it out of your hand so I could yeah. see it a little bit better. The, okay. the light bulbs. I want to see light bulbs. Okay. Without them being lit. Oh, without them being lit. Yeah, okay. just hold them there for a second. Yeah. And all they are is grouped together and a little tape holding the ends on, right? Yeah, they're just grouped together here. There's three of them together. Okay, so now what you're doing the is just... The purpose is of something bright so people can see. So you're putting one wire on one rod and one on the other. Is one that on correct? the other. Okay. Just like negative and positive. Now turn the rod sideways so we can see them individually. Okay. There we go. Uh-huh. Now, it's not a battery. Because you cannot light these with batteries. Now, okay. and to show it's not a battery, anywhere you move it up and down the rod, the lights work. See? See, anywhere, down here, uh -huh. oh yeah. The same. Anywhere you want to, to put them, they work. So this is a 25 watt ball. One, it's 110 and 25 watts. Now, let's see what happens when we put that on. Yeah. Now, of course, it won't be as bright because it, uh, this takes a lot of amperage, you know, and the wattage. This here, the watts on this thing here is only about, uh, right now, about 18 watts only, and this is 25 watts. Now, do the rods get hot? Uh, no, the rods don't get hot. The light bulb is just hot. Yeah, because it's... Uh, yeah, it, it gets hot. Okay. Of course, you can't see the heat there, but now, I'll give you a good shot of the, of the, uh, of the light there. Okay. Yeah, got it. Now you need a very big battery to do that. If you want to do that with a battery, uh -huh. you know that's to show there's no power here, as far as uh, storage power. It stores a certain amount of electrons because it builds up. Mm -hmm. Now let's cover them. We're going to cover them up. So now no no, no light can get to them. So that we can show they're not like a solar panel. Now let's turn the switch on. So the power is now going from the bottom terminals through the switch here to the top here. Right, okay. Now we use these two terminals on here because sometimes at the cave site we used to use this to charge the big battery. Uh -huh. See? So that's why we put those terminals on there. Now let's black it out. See if we can still light it. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? You don't need light. So we're not getting it from the fluorescent lights here. We're not getting the power from the fluorescent lights. Right. Now the this is this kind of electricity is very much like lightning. You know how devastating lightning can be. Mm -hmm. Lightning is because the earth is negative and the atmosphere is positive. And when lightning strikes okay. now going to show you a very simple version of a very simple magnetic generator. Very, very simple. Okay. There's one transformer here, another small transformer here. This is the magnetic field here. 
a circuit board with an outlet. Here, two wires going to this panel. This panel picks up a small portion of the spectrum that's very important to the unit. I'll show you the magnetic field so you can see it. This is a 25 watt GE light bulb. Now, there's no hidden batteries or anything. It's, it's very, very simple. This unit does not put out very much power. It barely puts out a little bit more than 25 watts total. Cut. Hello, my name is Dan Sample and I'm with New Art Power. We have a new power source here and I would like to introduce you to the inventor and one of our partners here at New Art Power. Doc, would you come in here a minute? All right, how, how are you doing, man? Doing well, thank Good you. Good to be in the area again. Good See you. Again. Would you introduce yourself? And yes, I'm Dr. Swartz uh, from the Noah's Ark Research Foundation and also a partner with the New Art Power Company. Uh, today we're here to introduce you to a new type of energy device. It's called an ERR. Basically, it's just an electromagnetic energy device. Very simple. Uh, we got three plates here. One, two, and three. I'll go real quickly over about the plate so you have an idea. Here's a spare plate here in case one something happened. Um, we got a solid piece of aluminum plate on one side. You got a sheet of bismuth in there. You got another aluminum plate with six cutouts. You got the coils in there. Then uh, you'll put another bismuth, another plate of coils on top of that. Uh, then another uh, bismuth, and then a solid plate. Now you got a panel. Okay. When we activate these with our activator here which causes the frequency to these plates, an alternating frequency. They produce electrons by agitating the bismuth and the aluminum. Okay? Now I'll set this down. Okay. Uh, what we have here, the electronics. Basically, we got to ground it to the earth. We got to associate it. We got to connect. Now that's what we're going to do here. We're going to find the frequency of the earth that matches Okay, it'll seek out and find. Okay, oh wow. All right, now. Okay, transmitters on. Everything's working okay, no problem. Okay, man, got a basic this, uh, idea of it? I've got a basic idea. It's a small package. Uh, what is the uh, energy output and the weight of this unit? Well, it's designed as a 6,000 watt unit, uh, but we're only putting out, today we're only using about three, a little less than 300, or 3,000 watts here. We've got uh, three 800 watt lights here. Um, the weight is approximately 42 pounds, the kit, that's mostly case. Uh, eight pounds is the electronics itself, the plates and the circuit boards and everything. Could we uh, pick it up? Sure, sure. Uh, let's pick it up and move it around so people can see. Okay? Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> and having talked with you previously on several occasions, is it correct this has no moving parts? It and has no, absolutely no carbon footprint. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. There is no moving parts. It does not leave a carbon footprint. This is environmental friendly. It, it appears to be. Uh, can we fire this thing up? And yes. Uh, see how the lights work? Right. Yeah, let's do it. Let's fire it up. <clears throat> First, let's get her all plugged in before we turn on all the lights here. Okay. Hit the lights, turn them off. Okay. All 
That's okay. a very intense light. Right, a little bit bright. Okay, turn the lights back on. Okay. Now these things get very hot, so you don't want to go touching them. Any other questions, Stan? No, I think I could talk about it for hours, but I think you could, right. you could explain the basis process of it. And I can see several possible uses here in my area. Okay. Thank you very much. We got a, we got a take, buddy. That's yeah. it. Okay.